Hey friends, you've all been there, right? You're a streamer, everyone's like, hey, buy an Elgato, buy, buy, buy one of these, and you can, you could stream whatever you want, you could stream all kinds of things, you just need a laptop or a computer source, right, like, like one of these, and this little buddy right here, this amazing little, little guy, right, the, the L, the El Taco HD 60S Plus, right? This thing. Well, they tell you you need to buy this, but no one ever tells you how to set it up, do they? Hmm, well, guess we're gonna get down to that today. All right, team, let's go. Alright everyone, so the first thing you want to do is go to the Elgato website, to their download page. Don't worry, I will have a link in the description below. Don't stress, I got you. Let's select your product. We are looking at the capture device, HD60S Plus today. And Windows. From there, we have our 4K capture utility. Okay, now you're not going to actually use this utility, okay? to stream with. You're not. You can, but I wouldn't recommend it. We're going to use it for changing some settings. So, download this, get it installed, and then I will show you how to use it. So once you've got the 4K capture utility installed, you're going to want to open it. It's going to look something like this. You're going to go in the upper right hand corner, click open preferences. Now you're going to go See under device, that here's your device, it's got all the different things. HDMI color range is very important, okay? Very, very important. If you're using the Switch or PS5 or PS4, set it as bypass. If you're using the Xbox Series X, set it as shrink. Just trust me, your color will look better. Now for audio, HDMI audio is in most cases, if you're using the little jack on the Elgato, you use the analog, obviously. Picture, you leave the same. Um, but basically, this is all you gotta do. That's it. It's pretty simple. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna hit OK. And then you're gonna keep going on the process. Alright everyone, so you made it that far. Great job. Got your 4K capture utility settings correct for the system that you're gonna be streaming off of. Now, we're going to go look at the actual streaming software. Okay? We've got Streamlabs OBS here. Work on OBS, any other system that you're using. Go make sure to add a scene if you want to split it out. I have two computers I stream off of. So make sure to get it configured correctly. Now all you have to do, go add a new source. Add a video capture device, you will see that the El Taco, the El Taco is here. Add source, new source, name whatever you want. Boom. There it is. It's a camera great. Let's take a look at the settings. Pretty much everything is default. Device default, match output, FPS, color space zone, non-partial, auto detect, capture auto, all these things. Now, you can mess the settings here. I would recommend leaving it alone. It works fine just like this. Okay, so we're done. Now, you're going to notice you're having a scene over here. It says Elgato CC, that's what I didn't mind. This is the level of volume that you are going to hear coming out of your game. Okay? Some games are louder than others, you know what I mean. Other games are not. But, this is what you're looking at. Now, I'm going to go to Advanced Audio Settings. Go find that one. Anybody that's watched my streams knows how many of these I have. Now, the Elgato, I have set to monitor and output. Now, the reason that is, on my streaming laptop, I do not want the duplicate audio with the way I have audio set up there. If I were to be using this on my desktop, I would likely be using this as monitor only, mute output. It depends on your streaming setup. I cannot tell you what your streaming setup is going to have. I do not know what you have. I can't be there with you. So, you're going to have to do trial and error 
to know how it works is you go hit record, start recording something, see if there's duplicate audio. If there is, don't use this setting, use this setting. But if your computer setup is like mine, which it probably is not, or it may be, I don't know, I'm not there, as I just said. Monitor and output uh, will do that for you. And that's it. Congratulations, you did the thing. You did the thing. Good job. That's it, team. You should be able to hit stream and pick up your video source. Easy peasy. Now, sometimes it will get stuck. So just hide the source. Unhide, and it should pop right back up. No problem whatsoever. That's been it for me today, team. This is Callie. It's Callie Chronicles. All you have to do is hit that like button if you liked it, share with your friends, and thank you for watching. Maybe I'll see you over at twitch.tv slash Chronicles sometime where I live stream pretty much every day. Till then, see you guys later. Bye for now. Hey friend, thanks for watching that video. If you'd like to watch other videos from me, click the links on screen right now. Or if you would like to visit me in any of my other portals, check the links in the description below. And consider watching me on twitch.tv slash Chronicles, where I live stream all the time. Thanks again, and I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Bye for now.